What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Final Contenders, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the X Trans Bots Caravaggio. They're hauler. This is on loan to me from John P. He was nice enough to send it my way. I'm anxious to take a look at it because, you know, I was involved in the Inferno Wars the whole way through. This is the final contestant years and years later, so to kind of be like an end of an era. It'd be interesting to put a pin in it. And you'll be able to put a pin in my opinion here shortly, but not until we get to accessories. So he comes with an alternate head sculpt with like a, oh no, face. And uh, some yellow detailings, white paint on the face. I think the helmet is painted as well. And then the blue eyes. Uh, looks nice enough. It's the whole joint, so it just pegs in and out. Uh, you'll get the swivel at the base and the hinge up and down. It comes with this rifle. Kind of standard issue. It is painted and sculpted nicely. No issues there. And he'll hold it just fine with a peg tabbing into the palm in typical masterpiece fashion. He comes with an alternative uh, to the hook. He has a hook on the truck right now, but then you can use this as well, which is a little, like a little grabby bit there with a, all pinned hinges down at the bottom. They're all spring-loaded, so they should hold tension. Let's see if we can't pick up the gun, for instance. We certainly can. There's a gimmick to this guy as well. If you open up this hand, uh, there's a spring-loaded cannon in there. There's a flap here that if you get it free you can like kind of see the full picture here then push out from this angle and then move this all the way to the end and then you should be able to tuck the hand in it's got to be lined up just right and then close this this uh flap behind it i don't have this one quite right and um unfortunately I'll, I'll work on it and hopefully show you the final final thoughts but i can't even get this one to come out all the way because it ends up hitting a piece there which is a bit of a bummer so let's take a look at the vehicle so it rolls like a champ on rubber tires we have green paint down there on the wheels the whole thing is painted green to be fair uh, with a metallic fleck green it's subtle but it does look good we also have silver accents along the way, including uh, like all of the hammer and wrench and axe and shovel uh, there. And then uh, we also have a door that opens to show kind of the steering wheel and all the kind of details in there and then kind of accordions in. We have the uh, side mirrors here, which can rotate in. Chrome detailing is on the front, which look absolutely beautiful. And let's see, on the back we have some brake lights and some silver stuff. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but we have it. We have the crane itself. This ratchet's here. Ratchet's on the turnaround. And extends a fair bit. And then this moves as well, and this is painted silver. So, all good. No issues there. It also has stabilizers. They swing out. The front ones are a little bit more problematic because the piece that they're attached to isn't like locked in. Um, like you see it, it kind of just sits in there behind the, the hip skirt. But once the stabilizers are out, you can move them down. And let's see. Ah, they're on little ball pegs. The front ones are just a little bit more challenging to get to. Let's see. Oh, isn't that just a pain? All right, let's try again, shall we? Let's see if we can't get this down. All right. And I wanted to see, okay, so it kind of comes flush with the wheels, uh, which is fine. Theoretically, it would, like, lift the truck up a taste, but that's fine. It's still cool. It, like, I think they're the only ones that did it, and that's pretty cool. Uh, and I think that's really all I had to say about it. You can tell, like, all the detailings that are meant for the fire truck and such. It looks very much like a working vehicle, which I do dig, maybe perhaps more so than any of the other ones. And then there it is next to Tiger Track, so big mamma jamma. All right, let's get him transformed. So we're going to open up these sections here and these sections here. We're going to disconnect this and sort of bring it around to the front. We're going to free up these arms, which... 
is going to be a little bit of a bear. But we're going to flip out these sections to give us as much working space as possible. They peg into like three different places, so that's what makes it a little bit challenging. And let's see if we can't do that one as well. All right. Then you can rotate the front cab all the way up until it locks into place. And now we just have the kind of lower body to deal with. Um, all right. So we're going to take these pieces and fold them back down. They have a little peg that tabs into the back of the leg on both sides. And we have these pieces. So we're going to fold this gray or silver piece to the opposite side. Be careful. That feels very fragile to me. And we're going to fold this piece up. Then that comes down. We can bring the feet down. Actually, we can just split the legs. Um, that comes down. And then this piece folds back around into this section but to my what i can see it looks like it just sort of sits in there um I'm not, i'll double check that but I, that's what it looks like to me then we're going to rotate the f up and then down now on the bottom side here there's this piece that has to like fold in and then this section here can fold in. Why is this not working the way that I thought it would? There. Then that can go in so it like curves in. It barely has the clearance to do it. And then rotate the wheels down or slide the wheels down rather. Alright, so same on this side. We've already flipped that one piece up. We're going to spin this silver piece. We're going to be careful as we do it because it doesn't feel entirely stable. We're going to flip that over. We're going to flip this green piece in. We're going to flip this down. And then this piece comes around. Now that we have that, we can start sorting the foot. Once again, you got to find this piece here. This flips up. What did I do wrong again? there flips in the other way then that flips around that one had much more clearance I feel like than the other one and then slide the wheels down until it's nice and flush and that's our lower body done and it was a breeze a welcomed one now we'll work on the arms so in kind of classic uh, X Transbots fashion you have to kind of pull plastic against plastic here open the door up this will give you a little bit of clearance for this section here. Pull the arm up and over. Just not the best. And then turn it around. Close the door back up. And on the back side, you want to flip this piece around. And you can flip the hand in. So we're going to do that one more again. Open the door up. Bend and rotate, close the door, rotate the arm around so it's anatomically accurate. Close the fist, you can rotate the fist as well. We'll do that on that side also. And rotate this piece in. For the head section, untab this, untab this box here, untab and make sure you're pulling from where the hinges are that section as well so that you can rotate these pieces back into that sort of formation and then turn the head around and that kind of forms like the the head box of it and i might need to spin this yes and now it's just all of this which is a bit of a bear all right so you want to pull, you got to disconnect this top piece here. 
from the top of the cab. Sorry about that. And now what we just have is all of this here, which is a bit of a bear, to be fair. You want to pull this section away. And then you want to untab this so that it can swing out. At that point, it's a series of accordioning this the right way. And I'll try to do it. Uh, I'm liable to mess it up at some point. But um, fold that down. And then this down. And then this one goes in, I think. And then this latches back on. Uh, onto itself. You, you'll feel it. It's very natural. Then just make sure that you got the head uh, with enough clearance to kind of swing this all back in. Once it's swung in, there's a little hook here at the top of the, the neck that can slide in and grab a hold of the roof of the cab. This piece can swing up. These pieces can swing back in and your hook can come down and swing below it and for all intents and purposes or iridescent purposes, you are done. I'll clean it up, we'll take a look at it. Let's take a look and we'll get in tight on the head sculpt for Dennis. Raise up here. Um, once again, same deco as the other head that we looked at, just stylistically it's a bit different, but the yellow, the black, the white, the blue eyes are all painted and done well enough. It's gonna be the same articulation as well, so you'll get your swivel, you'll get your hinge up, and you'll get a little bit down. If that's the straight on, you get a little bit down, which works well enough. Um, all the details of the truck still come through nicely, so we'll just move on to the shoulders. So the shoulders, ratcheted universals. Get you out to 90 degrees. 360 around. And a butterfly joint, which is nice. No issues there. Silver paint, silver paint, black and the rest has the finish. So bicep swivel, double jointed elbow for the full run, wrist swivel, thumb is on a ball peg, fingers are individually articulated on the base pin knuckle and secondary knuckle, but you can kind of go further with the uh, secondary knuckle for the trigger finger hand, and then the rest are just on the base pin knuckle, which I think is actually pretty much okay. Hope you saw that. If not, we'll show it again right now, right? So it's a little weird at this knuckle, but otherwise okay. All right, let's back out, brush them. We have waist swivel, no ab crunch. Now we'll try to look at the whole figure. Hip skirts get up and out of the way for ratcheted universals out to the side for the full Van Dam. Forward and back for just shy of the full Monty, but close enough. Thigh swivel, once again, the paint detailings come through nicely and a single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees. Moving on to the feet. You have an ankle tilt up, you have an ankle tilt down, you have a rocker to the nth degree. Um, it's, really, it's really quite a good offering. I underestimated this. Um, it's really quite nicely well done. Uh, I gotta tip, tip my hat to him. Not what I expected. So uh, let's do some size comparisons. Size comparison wise, there he is with the Carbot and there he is with the Inferno. So he's a bit taller. I was gonna say he felt taller, but I don't hate that. And in, in fact, I find it to be fairly intimidating. I, I like this figure a lot. I'm contemplating switching out for my Takara. Like not with the green one, obviously, but uh, I'm quite fond of how they did this and how it looks. Um, it's just a very, like he looks like a brawler. You know, I, I'm, I dig it. I don't know if I'm gonna spend the money because you know, I, I am content with my Inferno, but it is impressive. Um, I'm taken back by it. Well done, x -Trans Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. And honestly, I don't have a whole lot to say negatively about this guy. The height might be inaccurate. That's a individual results will kind of vary. Not that it's inaccurate or not, but whether or not you feel it's inaccurate. I do believe the scale comes down to the eye of the beholder. Uh, I wish it wasn't a translucent chest plate or front windshield. I'm kind of always in that boat, but I understand why they do it. The index finger is a little weird. I think one extra joint there would have been nice. I do like that X trans bots has kind of moved on to pins instead of those ball pegs, which were dreadful. There's a couple elements of the transformation where you had to bend plastic 
around plastic. That is something that is consistent with X Transbots. However, it is less here than usual. So that's worth noting. And the backpack is definitely an eyesore uh, from a lot of angles, you know, especially with the kind of sophistication of what Takara did. It, it does bring it to the forefront, but I still don't hate it. And I mean, uh, dude, that's really, that's all I got. I mean, if I had to nitpick something else, I would say just the, the time it took to get this thing out, so to speak. You know, this was announced back when the wars were at their height. You know, had this come through then, it would have been a real different conversation, I think. But what are you going to do? God laughs at the best made plans, they say. Let's move on to positives. There's a lot more to talk about. Positives, I have a lot more to say about it. Painted, head to toe, beautifully done. Sculpted, head to toe, beautifully done. Accents like chrome, translucent, metallic paints, flat paints, gimmicks, appropriate accessories, a realistic looking alt mode, an intimidating looking robot mode, along with a transformation that's simple, straightforward, and fun. If X Transbots can stay in this pocket, they are going to be a problem. This is a superior figure, not only for them, but for the marketplace. Place. This is extremely well done. My hat is off to them. I might say that this is the best thing that X Transbots has ever done overall. And I say that objectively because I don't think I'm getting it. This is extremely well done. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.